This is one of the most requested recipes dahil talaga namang specially no nung kabataan ko. Paboritong paborito ko talaga to and hanggang ngayon. Especially kung yung classic talaga yung pagkakagawa, yung makunat-kunat yung feeling. So I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. This is Brazo de Mercedes or Brazo DM. Napakasimple po ng ingredients nito. Medyo yung paggawa lang niya, kailangan bantayan mo ng konte para siguradong siguradong maa-achieve mo yung desired finished product. So first, I have here 12 pieces of egg whites and cornstarch and white sugar. So I'm going to beat the egg whites in a mixer fitted with Paddle attachment or wire whisk attachment pala nalito na tuloy ako. Wire whisk attachment. Alam ko na sunod. Wala po akong stand mixer. You can use the hand mixer. The only thing is mas matagal kang maghahalo. Kung gusto mo naman talagang mag-exercise o di ba? Gumamit ka ng wire whisk. My tip, if you're going to beat it manually using a wire whisk, dalawang wire whisk po yung gamitin mo. O para talagang bigay na bigay ang pressure and mas mabilis siyang magwi-whip because magkatulong yung dalawa. O di ba? Pag magkatulong kayong dalawa, you support each other, mas mapapabilis at mas fruitful ang gawain. O di ba? Eh kung isa ka lang, eh wala namang problema yon. O di ba? Eh may mixer ko. So I'm going to put the egg whites into the mixer. And of course, para maganda ang alsa ng egg whites, I'm going to put 1 4 teaspoon of Baker Dream Creme of Tartar. Ano yung Creme of Tartar? So basically, this is an acid na tumutulong na yung egg whites mo ay maganda yung pag-alsa while beating it and keeping it stable while baking it. No? So make sure na lagyan mo ng Creme of Tartar para maganda talaga yung alsa ng egg whites. It's very important also that your egg whites has to be completely clean. Anong ibig sabihin ng clean? Meron po bang maduming egg whites? Wala po dapat na halong egg yolks, egg shells, yung mga itim-itim, or kahit na tubig, hindi siya dapat nabasa. Because kung meron isa doon na napahalo dyan, mapapansin mo, hindi stable yung alsa ng egg whites. So next, I'm going to turn on the mixer. I'm going to beat it at medium speed hanggang maging soft peaks. I'm going to show that to you. So as you beat the egg whites, no, halo ka ng halo or in a mixer, makikita mo na nagsisimula siyang umalsa no, or nagpo-froth like this. Diba? Nagpo-form siya ng bubbles. Don't put the sugar yet because you want it to be stable bago mo ibuhos yung asukal para maiwasan mo yung nagde-deflate yung iyong egg whites. <clears throat> Alright, so after beating it for around 1 to 2 minutes, mapapansin mo na para na siyang shaving cream or para ng whipped cream yung egg whites mo. So this is now what you call soft peak. O ba? Malambot na siya. And tumatayo na pero malambot yung dulo. Hence, we call it soft peak. Alright? So this is the soft peak. So at this stage, you can now put the sugar gradually. pa konti, -konti pa din because sugar is heavy. So you don't want the egg whites or the meringue to deflate. So turn on the mixer again and then you just put in your sugar gradually. Hanggang maibuhos mo lahat. Yeah, that's it. And then you just keep on beating it until it becomes stiff. Yung medyo gumagalaw pa din pero medyo matigas-tigas na. Some tips when beating your egg whites, huwag mo siyang ilalagay sa sobrang lakas na speed. No, Gusto mo na medyo gentle pa din, mga medium to medium high speed. Do not put it sa number 10 or sa pinakamalakas na mixer speed because ayaw mo na masyadong mabilis yung pagpasok ng air bubbles dun sa egg whites mo. You want it gradual but 
surely. O ba? Diba? Pagkasidahan-dahan yung pag-incorporate mo ng hangin dito sa egg whites mo, ibig sabihin mas pino din yung pumapasok na air bubbles. So your finished product makinis yung loob. So now, oh ayan, makikita mo, this is what you call the stiff. Oh, ba? Diba? Medyo maganit na. Lumalaban na yung egg whites. And ayan, oh, see? Nakatayo na. And kahit ibaliktad mo yung bowl mo, oh, hindi na po basta-basta babagsak yan. Pero this is not the best way to test it, ha? Kasi paano kung bumagsak? And then you put the cornstarch, just one tablespoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch will help stabilize your your meringue. Para lang medyo kahit magalaw-galaw mo sa oven, hindi basta-basta babagsak. And just mix it quickly. Ayan lang, uh, until mag-dissolve yung cornstarch mo. And then this is ready. You can now put this onto your baking pan. I have here a sheet pan. The size is, this is 13 by 17. This is a cookie sheet pan or a, just a sheet pan. And isalin mo yung iyong merang. Ganyan lang po ha, until stiff. See? Parang uh, malapot na shaving cream or whipping cream. Do not overbeat it because if you overbeat your egg whites, kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina pa ulit-ulit, huwag mong ilalagay sa napakalakas or pinakamalakas na speed because if you overbeat it, magtutubig po yung egg whites nyo. And ano pa po ang magagawa ko doon? Wala na po. Unfortunately, tatapon nyo na yon And then, start na po ulit kayo ng panibagong batch. And then, you just spread it out sa iyong sheet pan. Just like that. Just spread it evenly. Using a spatula. This is an angled metal spatula. And then using this, this is a what we call a cake comb, yung pang design sa icing. Lagyan mo lang ng mga waves, waves na ganyan. Oh, di ba? And then this goes into your preheated 275 degrees Fahrenheit oven, no? For around 40 to 45 minutes or until mag light brown na yung ibabaw. So isasalang ko to and habang nakasalang to sa oven ko, gagawin naman natin yung ating super delicious classic na classic thick custard or the brazo filling. So now, let's prepare the brazo filling. Napakadaling gawin ito and I'm going to give you a tip. Masarap din tong ipanlaman sa chocolate cake. So now, we start by combining your egg yolks. So egg yolks. And I have here a can of condensed milk. Just everything into, into the mixing bowl. And I have a cornstarch. Lagay mo lang yung cornstarch. And you also need a zest of a lemon. So, pag kinukuha mo yung zest, huwag mo isasama yung white part. Yung kulay dilaw lang yung kunin mo. So, I like using this tool. This is the microplane. Especially kapag nag-regrate ka ng mga lemon zest, lime, no? Masarap din gamitin dito, diet. Pero naubos na po ang aming tanim. Pwede din yung lime, yung local lemon. No? So you just get the, the y yellow zest. Pag nawala na ng kulay dilaw, wag mo nang kayo rin pa yung puti. Kasi mapait na po yun. And then you just mix it with a wire whisk. Bago mo isa lang sa double boiler. Making sure na naging smooth yung 
mixture before you put it on a double over a double boiler. That's it. So pag smooth na naganyan, ilagay mo na siya over simmering water o patong mo lang na ganyan. And then you have to cook it with constant stirring. Hindi naman kailangan habang buhay ka nang nandiyan. Okay? Pwede naman ayan, occasional, 'di ba? Yeah, occasional. O pwedeng halimbawa o oh, ililigpit ko 'to. O oh, 'di ba? Ililigpit ko. And then babalikan ko siya. Oh. Ang pagmamahal naman, hindi naman kailangan nakatutok ka na lang forever, di ba? Pwedeng paminsan-minsan lang kayo nagkikita, pero nandun talaga yung value. O, di ba? Yung paminsan-minsan na yon talagang nandun yung moment. O, parang ganun ang paggawa ng brazo feeling. Pwedeng paminsan-minsan mo lang siyang haluin ganyan, o, iwan mo ng konti, balikan mo, no? Ang importante, binabalikan mo siya and nandiyan ang puso mo sa kanya o di ba so you just keep on cooking it o ganitong ka forgiving yan o maski nag instagram ka muna nag facebook ka muna o kahit nanood ka muna ng video ko on facebook or youtube and iniwan mo yan hindi po yan basta basta masusunog That is because you're cooking it ban mari or di ban mari ba? O pwede mo dito wagin ban mari to or double boiler? O di ba nakak double boiler? Ang mga cooking terminologies talaga minsan nakakalito lalo yung mga French o mga ban mari ganyan di ba? O double boiler or over a boiling water? So hindi mo sa basta basta masusunog. O di ba? So you will see ay ano? Lumalapot na siya. And nakita mong sa gilid, may mga buo-buo. You don't have to worry. Magiging smooth po yan. So, pag lumamot, lumapot na siyang ganito, nabubulol na ako. Ayan. So, lumapot na siyang ganyan, malapit na po yan. ba diba? So, I'm going to put here, oh, katulad yan, oh, hindi ko makita yung butter. Pwede kong iwan ulit yan o oh, kukunin ko yung butter. So I'm I'm going to add lastly two tablespoons of butter. Kapag malapot na malapot na. Pag pinatay mo na yung apoy, actually once you take it out from the double boiler, that's the time you put your butter para ma-maintain mo yung fresh flavor of the butter. Okay, makikita mo, no? Pag nakukot na niya, hindi na siya basta-basta bumabagsak coming from the wire whisk. Ibig sabihin, konting-konting luto na lang. So now, my custard is thick enough. See how thick it is? Dahil habang lalamig po yan, mas lalapot pa yan. Ayaw mo naman siyang maging sobrang lapot na parang yema na. Kasi mahirap ng kainin. And actually, mahirap na siyang ipipe or ipahid dun sa merang mo. So, I'm going to stop here. Aalisin ko na siya sa kaldero. And then, I'm going to put in or I'm going to mount it with the butter. This is salted butter. I'm using salted butter. And then you just mix it. Makikita mo yung mag magkakaroon yun ng gloss pag pagkahalo mo ng butter and you know the smell. Amoy palang masarap na. And sure, di ba? O ano bang pinaka masarap? Jadi di titik man mo ganon. Sarap. Perfect ito with, with the merang. And again, pwedeng pwede mong ilagay sa gitna ng chocolate cake. So I'm going to uh, let this cool down and hihintayin natin maluto yung ating merang bago natin to ilagay sa loob at irolyo. So, luto na yung aking uh, merang. So, bago ko siya hanguin, I've prepared here. Meron akong ginawa kanina, of course. May finished product na ako. Bago ko siya hanguin, meron ako ditong katya. Or, kung ayaw mo ng katya, you can use a white t-shirt na malinis. 
or silk just make sure na malinis okay pwede din parchment paper and i'm going to dust it with this is mixtures of powdered sugar and cornstarch one is to one lang kung one cup na powdered sugar lagyan mo din ng one cup na cornstarch naglalagay tayo ng cornstarch because pag purong powdered sugar it will become very sweet and also, the cornstarch will absorb the excess moisture para hindi nagpapawis yung braso de Mercedes mo masyado when you put it inside the fridge. So now, this is my merang. You will see it's nice and golden brown. Now, after baking it, just be very careful because the pan is obviously hot. Yan, nagkamali ako ng lagay ng towel. So I'm going to just invert it here. Ganun lang. Okay? And then, tanggalin mo yung parchment paper. Take it out. You need to do it habang mainit-init pa yung, yung merang. Kasi habang lumalamig yan, there's a higher chance na mag-crack. Kagaya nitong nangyari sa akin kanina. And then, lagyan mo lang ng filling. Nilagay ko na yung filling sa piping bag para mabilis mong ma-spread. Now, if you find it, ay, parang masyadong matamis, ang daming filling, pwedeng kalahati lang yung ilagay mo and then, i-reserve mo yung remaining half for your gusto mong lagay sa chocolate cake or pwedeng one recipe of filling two recipes ng iyong, uh, anong tawag dito, ng uh, merang, pwede din naman. And then you just roll it like a sushi. Like that. O, oh, ba? Ang ganda niya. Hmm. Ang bongga, ba? Itong kanina, nag-crack siya kasi naghintay po ako. Pinaghintay ko siya. Ganun talaga ang mga bagay minsan. Pag matagal mong pinaghihintay, ah, uh, nagka-crack ng konti, nagkakalamat. So, kailangan agad-agad. Ibuhos mo agad ang pagmamahal mo. Okay? So, this one, this is your Brazo de Mercedes. Paano ko po siya ililipat? O, ba? Isa lang po ang aking medyo nagawang hindi maganda ngayon. Hindi ko po na-anticipate na mag-shoot ako ng Brazo de Mercedes. So, wala po akong lalagyan. But we can always improvise. O, halimbawa dito, ilalagay mo siya dito. Malinis po yan. This is how you po, you you trans, transfer it. You will use your katsa as a guide. Sabihin mong ito yung cake board mo for the braso. And then you just slide it. O, nako. Hindi ko nga kakamayin. Baka mamaya mag-crack pa yan. Ah, nagkakrak na ba? O, ayan, nagkakrak na daw. Yung ilalim talaga, magkakrak ng konti. Pero yung ibabaw niya should be... Yeah, normal lang po yan. Maski naman po yung nabibili nyo, may crack din naman yung gilid, no? O, normal lang yung nasa gilid, may konting crack. Lipat mo yan sa maganda cake board na mahaba. Okay? So, ang braso de Mercedes, before you consume it, it has to be... Uh, Cool. Maganda kung i -re ref mo siya for a few hours bago mo kainin. So, meron ako ditong nilagay na sa ref. I have here one na nilagay ko na sa ref. And titikman natin. Oh, look. Look at the inside. Diba? Again, if you find na parang ang kapal ng icing sa loob, pwede mong bawasan ulit yan. Pero ito is tamang-tama lang. Oh, see? Mm. Sarap niya. W wala talagang you know, you might think na nakakauma yung yung feeling but because of the lemon zest, balance na balanced. Mm. Tinitingnan ko baka nagbabagsakan yung powdered sugar. Tikman natin yung merang lang.
masarap din siya pero hindi kumpleto. Iba talaga pag may partner na feeling. Or if I may say, iba talaga pag may two true feelings yung ka-partner. Ano ba yun? Ano ba yan? Kakakain ko ng matamis o sa pa. Mm. If you want to put flavorings, Doon sa merengue mo mismo, the perfect time to add your flavorings, may it be your ube flavoring, coffee powder, kapag nilagay mo na yung cornstarch sa pinakadulo, doon mo ilagay yung flavoring mo. And then again, the feeling, pwedeng pwede ka maglagay ng ube halaya, you want to put lang ka, pero sa totoo lang, wala po talagang makakatalo dito sa sa classic. So, kung halimbawang gusto mong iuwi to, sorry, wala po akong box na ganito. So, I'm keeping it forever. So, take care. I'll see you soon. Ooh.